Yes, another victory for common sense and freedom. We have to take little, little victories every now and then. This is about the woke culture, the extreme gender lobby who decided to go and cancel people left, right and center for saying men are men and women are women and everything else. This is about Alison Bailey, who's a barrister and she's, a, she's basically a non-woke lawyer uh, who, was, who got into trouble with the uh, Garden Court Chambers for obviously the barristers, the lawyers chambers, and uh, these guys tried to cancel her. And this story has been going on for about a year or so now. It's quite embarrassing what's going on inside our establishment. And when we always when we say establishment, some people always assume we're just talking about the political establishment. No, no, no. The, the whole establishment from, again, media establishment to our cultural institutions, quangos and so-called independent bodies and everything else, the, the problems are there massively. So... This was back in 2022 when uh, Stonewall, oh yeah, Stonewall, that woke so-called charity and the organization, a pressure group, who basically, they, they go into organizations and government departments and turn them into rainbows and everything else and unicorns. Uh, they, 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 and there was an article about this, uh, Susan Moore said, after Alison Bailey was cancelled, saying, if Stonewall doesn't represent a woman like Alison Bailey, then who is it for? What is the point? just because Alan Bailey didn't really want to obey and go along with the, the woke narrative of Stonewall. But now she has won the, the court case, the battle against it. And she was supported by uh, people like Jacob Rowling and many others. Uh, so, so she had the support. Luckily, a lot of ordinary people, more little people, let's just say all of us, we wouldn't have that sort of level of platform, obviously. Uh, but so Alison Bailey got lucky. So that's good. And she's a good lawyer. So she managed to get it done. Now, an employment tribunal has uh, made the unusual decision of awarding a substantial sum, £20,000, I believe, in costs to Alison Bailey for the way Garden Court and its legal team conducted itself uh, during the whole thing and litigation. So the panel singled out for criticism that the Garden Court chambers and, and the failure to compile an adequate tr uh, trial bundle, which is crucial for any for the uh, coherent running of a case so basically they messed up they thought they don't have to really make an effort the council culture as a whole those who conduct it they become so complacent they think well if they just on a societal level cancel someone they don't have to worry about the legal matters but it does matter and i know we still have a number of woke lawyers and woke judges and everything else but the system to an, to an extent is still there still exists uh, to fight back now we, again we can't be complacent because uh, we are also losing those platforms as a country so they said uh, that uh, the panel stepping back from the detail we considered whether there was unreasonable conduct in the preparation of the bundle we concluded that there was as set out in several respects it went well beyond normal disagreement basically the case was nonsensical and Alison Bailey shouldn't have been cancelled. She, she should just go back to work and uh, the gender lobby needs to step back and Stonewall must be cancelled if you're going to cancel anybody. And uh, from what we hear, Stonewall are still hanging around Whitehall, even though this government and some government ministers uh, promised us that they're going to remove the influence of these organizations um, and use taxpayers money to do that. So they're still around. Yes, they are. Um, so another broken promise from uh, this government and our politicians. But we'll see how, what happens in the next election. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.